Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm going to make a video here showing you guys the modification that I'm going to do to this 8800 GTS, it's a BFG edition, which really doesn't matter, they're all the same, this is just a reference cooler here, and uh, as you saw in my other video, if you haven't watched it, please check it out, um, I did this little modification here which lowered my temperatures like 5 to 6 degrees, which is nice. But today I'm going to go for the full on mod. I'm going to remove this plastic cover here. I'm going to clean out this uh, heat sink that's in here. Pretty much this whole aluminum part will still be mounted, just not the cover. I've uh, looked up some things on the internet and it looks like I can just pull this cover right off there. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to take this fan and another one I have just like it. I'm going to remove this fan and I'm going to strap those two on there somehow and we're going to uh, see what the temperatures look like. So it's a little experiment and uh, I will be back guys. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my 7950 GT in there which is a BFG card as well. I have two BFG uh, overclocked edition cards here. But yeah, I'm going to throw that in there so I can make videos while I uh, do this for you guys since I'm using the webcam. But um, yeah guys, so I will be right back when I get this all hooked up. and I'm Okay guys, well I've swapped the two cards here. I got the 8800 GTS sitting here on the table and I've removed the four screws. They're very small screws here. Very small screws. So basically the tools that I used, I used um, a little knife here, utility knife, because I had to cut out a little bit of the sticker there. And then I use this small screwdriver here to remove the four screws. There's one screw here, one screw on the other side, and then one screw uh, right underneath here, another screw here. It's down in there. So basically, once you get those four screws out, it basically just lifts right off. And you can see there is our stock cooler. And I can see why my temperatures weren't as good as what I was expecting them to be. As you can see, lots of uh, dust cloggage here, which the video doesn't even really show it as much as what it is, but it's pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this fan probably. I might not. I might just strap a fan right here and we'll see what temperatures look like then. And then we'll go from there. So that'll be our first test. Let's put one 80 millimeter fan here. Or maybe I'll do a 120. I don't know. We'll probably do an 80. Here's what we'll do. We'll take this guy here, and we'll strap him on here, but I'll have to flip it around and take this other stuff off here, so. Hey guys, well, while I was uh, looking at this and cleaning everything out, I was thinking that maybe a cooler mod to do while keeping with the factory blower style fan um, setup, you know, that this card has. Um, do like kind of what I had before, but enlarge this opening here to bring air out. And, uh, you know, might mod some kind of inside of here, maybe. I didn't clean this out yet, but, you know, maybe mod this for airflow a little differently. Um, and integrate the, the fan. Maybe I could use a smaller fan, maybe like a 60 or 70 millimeter, and, um, you know, mount that on there. That was just an idea that I had. Uh, I'll make another video of that after I do this experiment here, because this—that's all that I do, really, you guys. Uh, these are just experiments. I mean, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I just do it because it's fun. Um, because you know, I believe you know this is my hobby, so I don't want this to become something that I don't enjoy. And uh, yeah, so I do stuff like this because it's fun to me. So my temperatures are worse. Hey. I, I'll strap the top back on there. It's a one minute procedure and we'll be good to go. But yeah guys, so this is about cleaned up here. So I'm going to attach the 80 millimeter fan similar to what you see here. And then we're going to hook this all up and uh, see what our temperatures look like and we'll go from there. So, Okay guys, as you can see we got another Rick Arter special here. This is uh, what you call the use the rubber bands to hold the fan on because you're too lazy to figure out a different way. But it works great. Uh, I mean, as you can see, let's see if I can do this. That fan's not going to fall off of there. 
Just see the way I got it attached there. Nothing special, but you know it's on there. And uh, so now we're gonna shut the computer down again. I still have this fan hooked up, so my uh, theory here, I guess, is this is gonna be blowing directly because the core, I think, is right under here where these heat pipes are. So basically, this is gonna blow straight down, you know, straight onto the core. And then I guess this fan here will blow a little bit down onto around here. And then uh, it'll kind of blow air, I guess, through here a little bit to help get some of the residual heat uh, through out somewhere. I don't even know. But, uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to hook this up and try it out. Oh, yeah, if you guys were wondering, here's what my 7950 GT looks like. Just a little fan on there. 